This is about delay estimation using fractional sample delayers as the system elements. Here is a model of a discrete time system in Simulink. In fact, it's a standard demo model within the DSP Speedster toolkit. And what you've got coming in from the left is a periodic train of triangular pulses which encounter delays over in this area. Now instead of having standard integer delays, that is to say integer multiples of the sample time in this discrete time system, we go for a much finer grain situation where we have fractional amount of delay in terms of the actual sample time. Down here is one of these FSDs, fractional sample delayers, and I'll show you what's inside of it. It's, it's being driven by voltage coming in, in here. And I'll look under the mask and see all it is is an FIR filter suitably fed by time varying coefficients which uh, can be controlled by voltage. And up here I've got a similar one except what's different is I have a control of it which I can control manually. I'm going to use this to set the reference delay and then try to measure that by the other FSD. So as I move this delay control down here, you'll notice that the amount on the icon changes, but more importantly, if I bring in this trace and I can see the impulse response up here, as I move it, I will see, I can slide it along with great resolution, I'll see the thing goes along and jumps. Sometimes it hit, it's nice clean impulses because I happen to hit on uh, an integer amount of delay, or I can set it to any old value that I want. When I do, I notice that the gain is quite flat as we would hope from a delayer, but it goes bad up here towards Nyquist frequency. This is a characteristic of FSDs. You can never get away from this. We can also look at the group delay by dialing this in. You notice uh, here it is quite flat and accurate, so we'll be in a good situation for baseband signals but we can't go too close to Nyquist. Now as we move this we can see that the group delay changes quite smoothly and with quite, quite kind, what kind of resolution I might want to have fractionally on this. So I have the makings of a controllable problem. In will come these pulses. I will set the amount of delay and off it goes. It will appear as the input to a first trace of a, of a signal analyzer and there will also be two more inputs to that. The first one of those comes uh, from the voltage control FSD which is uh, reacting to some sort of estimate for what the delay should be. It's piping this over through this channel here to uh, input number two without any noise. But the more realistic situation is that there will be measurement noise uh, present and we're uh, feeding this across through into channel three. So here are those various pictures. First trace is my reference trace. This is my approximation of it and this is the noisy approximation. So as I go back to change my control you notice that my I'm showing a couple of the periods of this periodic signal. Uh, I, you can see that these move in accordance first the yellow one and then the blue one then tries to catch up with it as does the orange one which is the noisified one. If I look on top it's probably better let me move this to quite a large distance, about 15, look, and you see it tracks down. So the noisy situation is catching up with the original reference one. This is showing also up here in these uh, delays. It's taking quite a while to get up there now. It's trying to get uh, just right. Uh, and there it is, quite close, 61.8 something. So this is a pretty good estimate then, quite good estimate, out into dec uh, multiple decimal points in terms of delay for whatever I set here. How is this being done? Well, you might think it's quite a complicated algorithm. It's one in particular described in a paper by Et Etter and Stearns. And if I click on this, you can see it. It's not a very complicated estimate at all. And that's the algorithm that's the brains behind this little simple measurement. So here we have uh, ability to have quite high resolution delay estimation in a very simple little system.